And I will I turn it over now to my partner, Jacob Bull. Jacob? Like we said, it's good to welcome you back to the Center of Election 2020. And today we're pre presenting some very serious allegations against Senator Elizabeth Warren. She was involved in a very explicit relationship with a male escort who stands to my left side, a decorated U.S. combat veteran, somebody who served our country, a war hero, truly. I don't think this is a funny thing. And so, without further ado, I'm going to toss it to Kelvin here, and he's going to tell you a little bit about his general background and his... Are you... I, I have a question. Are you laughing at our troops? Do you think his service in Afghanistan is funny? They shouldn't respond to that nonsense. So Jack Berkman um, uh, and Jacob Wall there. That was uh, from back in 2019 when they were going after Elizabeth Warren, accusing her of having extramarital affairs with someone and because this is all interesting to them. And they think that's the way you can politically move through the world. Well, they've after on and they found out because now they're up for some serious, well, I'm not saying charges, but at least some consequences coming their way. Uh, they're facing over uh, about a year in prison for 2020 election fraud claims that they tried to pull on certain folks. So he's uh, Jacob Wall is 24, he's from Irvine, and Jack Berkman is 56, he's from Virginia. They face a maximum of a year in prison after they pleaded guilty to a fifth degree felony charge of telecommunications fraud. This is the oldest thing in the book. The two were charged in October of 20 after prosecutors said that their group, which is called Project 1599, Placed more than 3,500 robocalls that spread misinformation to targeted voters in Cleveland's east side and in East Cleveland. Hmm, I wonder who lives there. The calls featured a woman warning voters, you'll find out here, uh, against being, quote, finessed into giving your private information to the man. And that they voted, uh, and that if they voted by mail, police and debt collection agencies would use their personal information to arrest them for outstanding warrants or collect outstanding debts, according to court filings. The call also claimed that the US Centers of Disease Control could use their information to institute a mandatory vaccination program. Of course, all of that is false. The calls were among more than 85,000 in total. The prosecutors said specifically targeted minority voters in heavily Democratic areas in Chicago, Detroit, Philly, New York, and Cleveland. So, uh, so obviously, David, those calls went out to affluent um, neighborhoods, right? right. And Jack Berkman is just not uh, very smart, and Jacob Wool as well. And by the way, full disclosure, <clears throat> I had Jack, work, or Jack Berkman as a guest on some of my shows when I was at MSNBC 15, 20 years ago. He was a very nice guy. I remember he that. Clearly, though, wanted to be on television a lot, and he fashioned himself as something yeah. of a sort of a dirty trickster and sort of enjoyed that kind of thing. But he was never particularly bright back then, and clearly, uh, he's not very bright right now. And somewhere <laughs> along the way, as nice of a guy as he was, I think somehow maybe he hit his head or something. Because to have this lack of judgment, to think that you could actually first get away with this, and then secondly, that you would even try something this stupid and think that you'd be making some sort of a difference in an election that you wouldn't get caught, uh, it's ridiculous. There was another moment that they had in this particular clip uh, ends with a bit of a prophecy because this was also a previous interaction that these two had. And keep in mind that they're now up for these felony charges and potentially a year in prison for what is it they were doing as far as false claims. Here's another instance where they're claiming false things. This one was about uh, special counsel Robert Mueller. Like I said, I, I've done a handful of Sorry, matters. Hi. I've done a handful of matters like this over the years. Um, my, you know, my. Uh, mission here is not to establish a narrative. It's not to follow an agenda. Wait a it's so to bring forth. It's a, it's, hang on, hang on. It's excuse me. It's to bring forth the facts and let the facts speak for themselves, and that's what we've done here. The gentleman in the back. Prison? Yes, sir. Are you both prepared for federal prison? <laughs> I guess not, because they kept on. <laughs> They're not going to prison. Come on, let's get real. I mean, clearly, Jack and Jacob, they do not think these things through. They just imagine, oh, yeah, we're going to engage in some dirty tricks. We're going to suppress the vote. We're going to help. We'll be able to take some credit for maybe some Republicans winning some elections. It usually doesn't work out that way. People are usually smarter than Jack Berkman and Jacob Wolf think. Even if there happen to be minority communities, Jack, these are actually some smart folks and they can be sophisticated and they usually don't tend to fall for these stupid pranks. But you do fall for things like getting jail sentences and breaking the law because there are some smart prosecutors who are actually recognize that what you're doing 
is illegal. So enjoy your year in prison. I hope you can do some reflection and self-awareness and maybe come out a different person.